Mongolia is partnering with the National University of Singapore to transform its public service. It's among several agreements signed between Mongolia and Singapore. Both countries are looking to deepen their ties through such collaborations. Melissa Go has more. Mongolia's diplomatic ties with Singapore span over five decades. But its Prime Minister O Yuna Den left Sim Nam Shrai's first visit to Singapore since taking office last year. Exchanging a toast with Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, he says cooperation between the two countries dates back more than 700 years. In 1320, Mongolian traders would travel to Tamasic or present-day Singapore to purchase elephants. Today, Singapore is Mongolia's main trading partner in ASEAN and its fifth largest investor. Singapore <laughs> Mr. Lee also toasted to an enduring friendship between the two countries. We share a common goal of promoting international trade, maintaining regional peace and stability, and upholding an open and inclusive rules-based multilateral system. We also complement each other's advantages. For example, while Mongolia has vast natural resources, Singapore has good connectivity and offers a hub and a gateway for Mongolia's exports into our region and beyond. In their meeting, the leaders welcome agreements signed on Thursday with the Singapore Corporation Enterprise. The agency will work with Mongolia on areas like its pension system and public housing. Mr. Oyuna Den also called on acting president Adityo at the Istana. They reaffirmed warm ties that have grown over the years. Mongolia also wants to transform its public service. That's why Mongolia's Justice and Home Affairs Ministry is partnering the National University of Singapore's Institute for the Public Understanding of Risk. They want to promote good governance by co-creating data-centric policies and optimizing human capital. Singapore has named an orchid hybrid after Mongolian Prime Minister Oyun Erdun. He was presented with the plant during a visit to the National Orchid Garden. The hybrid is described as robust and free flowering. It can bear around seven large flowers, each about 10 centimeters wide. It has apricot orange petals and sepals are speckled with carmine and all of that is complemented by a prominent red lip.